economy the way it is, and we're all aware of the variances that can happen with the money or lending, uh, when having a business plan and a concept already intact, when do we sacrifice that or change or modify it, depending on the amount of money we come up short with funding? Say if we're in it six months and we just can't stand to wait any longer to get into the market or get on the floor, when do we know to change and, and how will the investors feel about that? Now that's a good question. If you're the expert with your concept, if you're the person who's put blood, sweat, and tears into the development of the concept, are you willing to change what you deep in your heart know will work to get somebody's investment? Not completely. That is your answer. You should never change just to get somebody's money unless the change they're giving you makes sense. Now, see, you'll have certain investors that will give you ideas, and then when you hear them, you'll go, aha, I didn't think about that. That'll work. I'm going to add it to it. See, a business plan is a working document constantly rewritten and rewritten and written again and rewritten. It's constant. I've been in business 24 and a half years. Do you think the business plan I wrote for my company in 1987 and the business plan in 2012 is anywhere close to the same? No. No. The environment's not the same. The way people act and work and do things is not the same. The rates we charge isn't the same. The expenses we have, it's not the same. I was 26 years old then. I'm 29 or so now. Things have changed. Okay, so the business plan is not the same. Okay? Well, it's the same with the restaurant business plan. If you do it properly, you're constantly going back to this document. People will give you an idea, you add to it, you change it. But the core of it, you shouldn't change. If you're changing the core of it to get somebody's money, then the next question becomes what happens when the next person says, I want what you originally had for an idea. So now do you tick this guy off because you told him you were going to change it to get back to the idea you had before? No. You're best off hearing no more often. You're best off saying, this is what we do. Again, it's not to say somebody might not come up with a good idea and you make a little bit of a change. But the core of it, this is what we do. This is what we're about. This is what I'm going to the mat on. If you'd like to invest in it, we'd love to have you. And if not, just hear more no's. If you hear more no's, you'll hear more yeses. I mean, and I can, maybe even a piece I can add to that is, Everybody knows the health movement of food, right? Everybody's wanting to push the whole, I'm going to have a healthy menu. Interestingly enough, there is not a huge amount of data that shows that the customer is all that committed yet. There's some commitment, but the same person who says, oh, we got to have a healthier menu, is ordering the supersized fries. Well, so let's say you have a health concept, and you're saying, oh, I'm committed to the health movement, I'm committed to the healthy food concept, come heck or high water, I'm doing the healthy food concept, and the investor says, won't sell, I want french fries. I'll give you a million dollars if you put french fries in your healthy food concept. Do you do it? If you do it, chances are, your business is going to end up failing because it's not where your passion is. Chances are. Now, I understand it's nice to say, oh, I'm not going to do it. Well, but chances are you've put yourself in a position where the passion has been changed. And once the passion of an entrepreneur changes, the business changes, and therefore the chance for success changes. <laughs>